What's up guys, I'm Weekend Warrior, and I have two follower builds that you can use to kick a lot of butt in Conan Exiles. Alright, let's get right into it here. First build is an agility build. Let's go over the gear that I'm using here. We're using the Abyssal Helm, Skelos Cultist Master Robe, the Master uh, Hand Wraps, Skirt, and Shoes. Now, the reasoning behind that is that... This is going to give us a the helm gives us a plus 12% follower damage increase and then a plus 10% agility damage increase and then each of these items is going to give us an 8% agility weapon damage increase and 10% follower damage increase for our agility build. That's why this follower build really goes well with an agility build. We're going to be using zombies for it as well. We can just look at our stats. We're getting 156% increase in damage for our followers and that's because we're also using the Tears of Gula and Cooked Dogfish. For our weapons, this is going to be, this is a combat focused agility build. I'm not bothering with a bow. I think, man, bow is a freaking bow ring. So, we're actually going to be fighting as well. So, I have the uh, Whirlwind Blades here, crafted by a, by a bladesmith to get you the most amount of damage increase. And then with that master weapon fitting on it as well, you can also use uh, maybe like a katana. I don't, I don't really use the katana, but that's another weapon you can use. This is just a basic bro katana, star metal one, crafted by a bladesmith with a master weapon fitting on it. Our um, encumbrance sitting at 39%. You don't get a whole lot of um, carry capacity with this build, but whatever, I don't care about that anyway. We can look at our stats now with our weapon out. To total damage 146 with those whirlwind blades. That's really good. That's really it's some really high damage. So we're only sitting at a 100 health, right? 100 health, but I really don't care. We'll go over the attributes right here. We're maxing out our agility, right? We're going with preci precision strike for that first, uh, that or the third perk or se sorry, second perk, and that's because I'm just I'm not using a bow in this, so I don't know. That, uh, the dead shot doesn't apply here, so I'm just pick that and then rolling thrust. So after we dodge, we're gonna get that 25% increased armor pen, and next the next swing cost no stamina. Uh, we're going with a well trained build here for authority for our zombies. We're gonna have three of them at a time, and uh, with the well trained perk, it's gonna, really gonna boost their stats a lot. And then a totally corrupting it out to. 19 points just not to override that well-trained perk we're gonna get frenzy so our dom our zombie's gonna hit pretty hard flesh bond damage that we take is gonna be split between them and then devour damage dealt by our zombies is gonna heal us too and now the most important part of this build I'm just maxing out grit here so our first perk is gonna be that endurance for an extra 25% uh, stamina regen really good and then that last perk steel food you cannot take more than 25% of your maximum health and damage per hit. So even though we only have 100 health, not a whole lot, we're still not going to take that much damage from our armor, being a 905 armor rating. See, we're blocking 64% of the incoming damage, and then splitting the damage between our followers, and the fact that no matter how hard we hit, get hit, we're not going to take more than 75% of our total health. So let's go ahead. I already have the Zombarinos with... Uh, their food items, but we're going to use this Black Lotus Potion for a 15% strength damage increase. It's super cheap. You could also use the Elixir of Might, but hey, you might as well just use this Black Lotus Potion. It's freaking super duper cheap. And then Salted Pork, we're going with Brimstone for that 9 hit point per second healing increase, and Brimstone is super easy to farm. I'm just going to go and head and do this for all of them, even though they already had it, but let's do that. And then have them follow. As soon as we have them follow, their stats are going to increase quite a bit, which is awesome, so they're gonna, let's see here, 16k health, 17k, and 17k, with their damage, max strength damage bonus, 67%, so they have a really good strength damage bonus increase as well, which is pretty cool, well let's just go test, test this out, first spot we're gonna hit up is Supper Maru, so let's test this build out in the field, first spot, hitting up Supper Maru, these guys are going to have to load in. I'll actually take it off of admin too. So, just go to make normal. going to go around and tell our zombies just to start kicking these guys. But if they could, like, have them come down here. Sometimes they just, uh... Oh, they just be weird. Let's see here. I might have to, like, go up to them. I don't know what they're doing. Freaking stuck or something. Here, come on, guys. Alright, 
Let's just got start going to town on these losers. You see, our damage... The reason I picked Sepper Moon, I mean, we could have went to, like, Mounds of the Dead. Come on, get out of my way, man. Freaking cramp my style. There we go. Could have picked Mounds of the Dead, but these Sepper Maru NPCs, they're pretty tanky. Even though they don't do as much damage as those uh, the Mounds of the Dead guys, I think. But we can really just see how much we just demolish this entire freaking N NPC area over here in Sepper. You can see, like, even us. This is why I really love this agility damage build is that we do a ton of damage and then with our zombies as well they do boatload of damage too we're not even letter freaking zombies do anything here but even the damage that we take as long as our zombies are dealing damage as well they're gonna heal us and I'm just using basic old aloe extract for this nothing crazy because if we just hit like one aloe extract it's gonna heal us to full I don't know what those losers are doing over there Yeah, like, freaking attack this guy. Let's just see how much uh, damage this zombie can put out at once against the Sepamru guy. Yeah. Even though it's like a tier 1 dancer, there's quite a bit of damage to him. Let me just, like, yeah, bonk. Alright, so Sepamru. Over here, let's hit up the unnamed city. Oh, gotta put it in freaking admin mode. So I can teleport. As we're like taking damage. Bonk. So let's go to the unnamed city. Take on one of these bosses over here. Looks like our zombies are getting distracted by stupid skeletons. Yeah, they took them out. Nice. Yeah, so we'll hit up the Guardian of Flame over here. Zombies cannot take that guy out. And this guy just he goes down pretty darn fast. Just from these zombies. Let's get. Frenzy, yep, they got the Frenzy attack. They're whacking them. We're taking hardly any damage as well, even though we get, you know, we only have 100 health, but whatever. Doesn't really matter. Not taking that much damage anyway. I'd much rather have way more stam. Okay, he's going down pretty quick. Yeah, just whacking them. I'm not even gonna bother with these stupid freaking. Ah, maybe let's take out sorry, this guy. Zombies can keep whacking that guy. Guardian the flame. Taking him out. And he's down. Homeboy's going down. Yeah, the reason and Yep, zombies are uh, healing us too when they do damage. And he's dead. You're dead. Okay, let's get out of here. Go back. Go back to our base area. And then the last part of this. You know what? I'm just spawn in the arena champ. And show what we can do against the uh, the old arena champion. Okay. I'm just gonna let her. Yeah, I'm gonna let her hit hit me. See, I mean, with 100 health, that was a freaking arena champion hit. So I mean, we get hit by the arena champion even, and like, I don't know, doesn't do that much damage. She hits freaking hard. So, I mean, if you're good, just don't get hit. I know you guys are good, so I would much rather have a ton of stamina than health. That's just me. Well, you can see with this with the whirlwind blade attack, you know we do that. It's, it hits like a uh, like an like an axe with a um, with the throwing axe combo. You know that spin? That spin's really good. And we can just like yep, we just got hit there, but whatever, it doesn't matter. We don't take that much damage anyway. I'm just gonna freaking wail on her. Let her zombies do do some damage as well, and we can just kind of. Avoid her too, since with this agility build, we move pretty darn fast. Oh, there's zombies start whacking her again, too. Yep, just move out of the way of that. Get out in there. Yep, yep, she's getting whacked. Yeah, this is what we want. Just kind of pin her. In. You gotta try to like pin her between the zombarinos and you. Yeah, she's going down. Right here. She's going down. Boom, get dunked on. Totally dunked on the Reed Champ. So that's our agility build. And uh, let's check out the next one. Alright guys, here we are with our second build. And this is going to be a strength build, which is uh, what I definitely prefer. Strength build with War Party. Let's go over the gear. All the Abyssal Armor. It's just the best, man. Best armor in the game. 
especially for strength builds like all oh, this is plus 10 strength our items our, our uh, weapons I have the uh, black ice throwing axe and black ice broadsword we can look at our stats 207 damage so we hit very very hard and that's because using the elixir of freedom and salted pork so elixir of freedom from that plus, plus 21 stamina it's really only give us about 10 but I want that little bit of stam, uh, stam increase and then that strength of damage bonus you can look at our health not a whole lot again 164 and 108 stam whatever don't care I don't need that much health because you can see from our attributes we have that flesh bond so the damage is going to be split between our followers and then our, again with the grit so endurance for that 25% stamina regen and then steel food as well for our strength we're just maxing out strength and maxing out the uh, our, our cr totally corrupting strength I could ex try to explain all this crap but basically you're gonna hit really really hard with totally corrupted strength with a strength build our two thralls here are Sumerian Berserkers and I went with those because they usually have a pretty good strength damage roll for these guys and they're pretty easy to get you know amounts of the dead they sp uh, dude spawns over there you can just yoink them let's look at their stats so strength damage bonus right now let's just go in here for foods gruel don't care I'm not bothering with making this other crap whatever so gruel's gonna give you a plus six percent a plus six hit point damage increase and that's good enough for me now I'm not I'm freaking lazy I'm not bothering farming the junk to make this we're gonna go and hit him with the salted pork and black lotus potion you can look at his stats now so plus 77 percent strength damage increase do the same for this guy boom and boom for their weapon we're using the tenderizer now this is a craftable item from that tier 3 yog altar uh, preferably made by a I think it's a confessor whatever the guy is that increases their um, their strength that are the overall damage of the weapon that you craft but it's just a star metal weapon crafted on there uh, health damage 48% or health damage 68 with a 40% armor pen and the, the attack that it does is really good it's craftable uh, the armor that we're using this is all crafted by a shield right but we have the silent legion helm for that plus 8% strength damage bonus void forge ribs for plus 8% and then the rest of these are all 5% the godbreaker grips and champions leggings are going to give you the most amount of armor but you can also go with the hyperborean versions of these as well if you don't feel like uh, using those armor scraps to try to craft this junk that's on both of these guys so really good armor rating their stats I don't know not anything crazy around 4k health but this this build it just totally melts everyone so we're gonna have these guys follow us and let's hit up Sepamaru again just a dunking on all those losers over here just gotta probably wait for them to like spawn in all right here we go let's so tell our guys to get down here come on guys I'm gonna take free freaking ever Okay, here we go. Yep. Just start kicking everybody's butt. Yeah, so that strength, that um, last prick into strength, that's what that just did there. Okay, kind of like just roll through their attacks because we can't attack through the... You see, like, man, they just they just totally destroy everybody. I mean, you're, you're, you're strong enough as it is, but with two of these guys, you just freaking wreck all these losers here. And the great part about this one is that since we have War Party, you could also do it with, like, one of these one of these thralls you know a fighter and then like a bear just have the bear carry all your junk that you don't want to carry around and then that fighter even though it's not going to be like the most you know the most possible damage increase that you can get because well trained would probably be the way to go for that but they still hit super duper hard you can just see we just totally wrecked these tanky ass separate root thralls let's go to the unnamed city travel travel uh, over here take out this guardian of the flame idiot just gotta go around this way. We're probably running some skeletons along the way as well. That we gotta take out. But this guy's just gonna. We're just absolutely melt this guy. Well, let's get our boys in here. Yep, come on, boys. Sick them, boys. Yep. He's just gonna. He's gonna get totally wrecked. I mean, like to two of these, two of your thralls, and then you wailing on this guy too. Like, it's just ridiculous. Redonkulous. Yeah, that uh, that the mall or whatever, or that one-handed freaking weapon that the tenderizer. They just their attack animation. They just blast through everything. Look at this guy; he's just getting melted, totally melting him. So I mean, if you want to go in the unnamed city and just wreck bosses really fast, this is what all uh, that does. So you just got done. You're done. You're done. You just got wrecked. 
get out of here, go back, and then spawn in the arena champ, and totally destroy. Just, just destroy. This is, it's actually kind of funny on how fast we're going to just absolutely annihilate the arena champion. Let's get her in here. What's up, arena champ? Yeah, you're going to get totally wrecked, dude. Let's let them freaking whack her a little bit, too. She doesn't even have time to get her freaking weapon out. I should probably, like, let her out. Yep, take your weapon out. Let's just let her whack us once to see like, what kind of damage we're taking here. Come on, just... Yeah, she's just getting wrecked. Come on, just hit me. Yeah, it hardly takes freaking any damage. And then when when our when our thralls do damage too. Yeah, look at that. That last freaking of strength just totally getting wrecked. So she does you know, she does a little bit of damage to our thralls, and you see here. Like their health went down kinda of fast, but that's why just to help your thralls out, man. Go freaking kick her butt too. Just getting, just getting wrecked. Yep. Doesn't even know what to do. Kind of like, kind of try to like pin her between you and your thralls as well. There you go, she's done. And you're done. You're dead. All right, guys. So those are a couple of strength build, uh, a couple of follower builds that you can use though. One agility, one strength. I love both. Totally awesome. I mean, you're, you don't have a whole lot of health, but who cares? Just you know, you're good at the game. You don't need that much health. Just get the stamina, that steel food perk, power through everything, destroy everybody. If you want, I mean come with this guy and then have a have a bear or two as well for the utility of that that's really nice but i'm gonna end there thanks for watching guys hope this uh, helped out leave a like if you liked it subscribe if you want to see some more uh, shenanigans and i will catch you later